Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Faster Than Light Advanced Edition. We are, well, in this advanced little thing cruiser. I haven't played this game in a few weeks now actually, so I kind of forgot where we were, but I see now. We've got a full crew complement of people. We've got the uh, chain laser and the burst laser, which is quite nice. Oh yeah, we've got the Vulcan as well, which is pretty ridiculous. And we are where? Where? The Sector 5 already, which means I should probably get some more shields. But there is a uh, there is a store over there. Damn, I can only go over there safely, I think. Right, let's see. The charts indicate that this was the location of a small skirmish over a military facility on a nearby moon. Oddly, scans pick up no signs of debris from either the battle or the station. Yet another area struck dry by the Lanius. Ah oh yeah, this is the Lanius area, which is one of the new races, I believe, or the new ra race. You arrive at an empty space station, no doubt abandoned due to the Lanius threat. Life signatures are detected at the ship depot and you spot a few crude signs stating everything must go. Well, let's see. Reverse ion field, explosive replicator... Uh, hmm. Boarding drone, defense drone. We don't really have drones, so uh, backup battery, hacking. I could use hacking because I don't use drones for anything else. And the backup battery, maybe. I'm going to... Oh, they're fairly expensive, but oh well. Uh, I'll need some more fuel and the... Yeah, why not? Let's get the hacking and the backup battery, maybe. For now. And let's sell the fire drone. Alright, that Vulcan is awesome. Only 47 scrap for that, really? Yeah. Right, so now we have that as well. I want to get uh, better shields as well. But of course I will have to do it like this. Alright, so we have level 3 shields, let's go. Pretty cool music, I have to say, in this part. You have, oh, you have picked up a Lanius vessel drifting in this sector. There is no damage to the hull and it appears to be powered down. Huh. This is, looks very strange. It's got a uh, missile and a uh, hull laser. Scan the ship for life forms, power weapons to attack, or investigate the vessel. Let's scan the sh No, let's investigate it. The vessel appears to be dormant. It is likely there are Lanius on board, but they may be in hibernation until the ship comes within range of new materials. Navigate carefully around the ship and strip what materials from the hull you can. Really? Okay, let's do that. Uh-oh. As you drift towards the vessel, your piloting skill is unable to match your intent. The Lanius ship powers up, hungry for raw materials. Ugh, they have no um, oxygen there. They have mind control and a teleporter. This is going to be interesting. We're going to see what they can do. Right, let's uh, let's get through the shields first. Who did they mind control? Oh, henchman over here with the... Uh, wait a second. With the O2 system. Okay, so they're here. They don't need um, air, but let's see. Oh, it's ignoring us, and it's dying rather quickly, actually. Well, that works for me. And it's dead. Okay. Oh, wait a second. It was sucking the air out of uh, the ship as well. And damn it. Okay, wet lettuce and uh, Lewis. Let's go and repair the O2 system. There we go. Right, let's uh, get for the sh get the shields now. Ah, well that wasn't very impressive, was it? Let's have the Vulcan powered up now. Let's go, Vulcan! Everyone back to their stations. Uh oh. Ow! Annoying. Henchman, go and help your buddy over there. Who needs to get healed up? Mr. Rehart, let's get healed. There we go. Fortunately, um, henchman doesn't really care about fire. Intruders, again. Oh. Uh, mind controlled. Mind controlled who? Walrux. Right, you can go back and repair that. Ow, again. They're doing a lot of damage to us. Jeez. Let's get that repaired as well. And now, as you can see, uh, you receive an image of the ca of their captain, silhouetted by the destruction aboard their ship. It bows forward with the metallic appendages about its uh, 
body doing the same. It appears to be requesting mercy. Really? After you try to kill us and disassemble us, we will not accept surrender. Certainly not for that. Well, let's get their weapons as well. Look at that. That Vulcan cannon is ridiculous. Look at that. I wonder if we could kill it. We would need level 2 um, teleporters. Oh yeah, we, we don't even have teleporters. The ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of useful scrap material. Well, these guys were certainly interesting. Walrocks, so let's go and heal up. We certainly need more energy to power up our systems. So let's do that with the money we got. Uh, yeah, let's power the engines. We should get some more engine power as well. And maybe the hacking drone. Alright, let's jump. Interesting things, these Laniuses. An image of some weak and hungry humans comes onto your screen. Those metal bastards think they can just absorb half of our engines and leave us here to die? I hope you understand the need to take your ship by force. No, I don't really, because, you know, you can just ask nicely. And we'll take you and help you. Right, we need all mantises on board. Let's go and fight. Captain K over into the uh, O2 system as well. Nice. Foolish, foolish humans. You shall die. Look at these mantises. Just obliterating everything. Look at this. Bloody ridiculous. Okay, you guys. Nicely done. Let's go and heal up. Uh, and I will need you two, Lewis and Reiko, to come over here. And repair that hole. I'm sending the NG because they're the fastest to repair this stuff. Let's get you healed up as well. Right, you two, let's go. There's no air there, so they will be losing... Uh, um, oh, they're already done. Well, that was quick. Well, that's the NG for you. Okay, let's wait for everyone to be done. There we go. You two go and heal up as well. And then we can send everyone back to their posts. Excellent. Return crew to safe positions. There we go. All right. Now, let's jump. These doors can close. Uh, let's jump over here. Hmm. Yeah, let's jump over there. You scan the area after arriving at the system. A Lanier ship is in fast pursuit of an unarmed civilian ship. It's hard to say if it's truly a threat since its weapons are not charging. Hmm. Well, it does have a flak cannon and a hull laser. Let's attack the Lanius ship anyway. You charge your weapons, which quickly gets the Lanius ship's attention. Oh, it's got cloaking as well. And they've got borders. Not really where I want them, but oh well. Right. Uh, we could hack their... Uh hmm. We could hack their uh, weapons. Yeah, let's hack their weapons for now. Even though they can't really... Actually, that was stupid. They can't get through our shields. Not even with the flak. There we go. Yeah, they certainly suck the air out of everywhere. It's... Uh, a bit troublesome. Okay, the uh, flak is almost charged. So we can use it. <laughs> well, that didn't do a lot. But, oh well... At least our Vulcan did, uh, what, two shots? Ow. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. That flak is a bit nasty. I'll, uh, I'll give him that. But our Vulcan is now fully charged. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and now we can go for the uh, weapon system. I'm going to hack it anyway. <laughs> Ah, you bastard. What's that? Oh, they're trying to get into the uh, weapon systems. Okay. Bye. Jeez, the Vulcan is crazy. The Lanius craft breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. This sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hull damages. Thanks. Oh, very nice. Five, uh... Really? I had that. Oh, hold left. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks. That certainly helped. Let's go to the store, see if they've got anything special. You receive a message from a nearby station. The end is upon us. The metal demons have come to absorb your very being. But it's not too late to prepare for the worst. 
It appears that that was an advertisement for a space dock. He scanned their products. Oh, they've got a Lanius. These anaerobic beings seem friendly enough. Really? Drains oxygen from rooms, slow movement, but no damage from lack of oxygen. Interesting. I'm almost tempted to take one. FTL jammer. Shield charge boost. Oh, that's also nice. Weapon pre-igniter. Weapons are made immediately available after an FTL jump. Oh, does that mean they Im can immediately fire? If so, I want that. I'm going to sell the chain laser. But it's... It's not going to be enough. Damn. Damn. I want the weapon pre-igniter. Give me the weapon pre-igniter, bastards. Can I still... No, I can't jump to a next location and then to the store. That sounds very cool, though. Hmm. That sounds indeed very cool. I could sell the shield charge booster. But that still wouldn't... No, it would be enough. Hmm. Okay, this is probably stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I want that. There. Alright. Let's jump. Let's see the Vulcan now being charged. Ah, yeah, it's charged immediately. You stumble across a badly damaged Lanius craft. It jumps away as soon as it sees you. Looking around the area, you discover a number of destroyed rebel automated ships. It must have been quite the fight. You scrap what remains. That's quite a lot of scrap. Uh, now let's go over here, and then up, and then towards the exit. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Send a, an away party to investigate. You find a secret Federation outpost. They are regrettably out of supplies, but are eager to tell you of another secret base. They give you their coordinates. Added a quest marker to your map. It's probably in this... Yeah, of course it's in this bloody area. Ah, but we can make it there. Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three... Uh, we'll have to fight the rebels. But let's go and check it out. Anyway. You find the planet of, of uh, the indicated coordinates. Your initial scans show the planet to be barren and devoid of life, but you get a prompt reply when you broadcast on Federation frequencies. Hello! So nice to see friends! We'll bring you up some supplies. Nice. Lots of scrap and an anti-personnel drone. I want... More, yeah, more weapon power so I can have the burst laser on as well. That would be pretty mad. And with the pre-igniter, that's gonna be... A treat, look at that. Bang! Both of the weapons ready. Haha, <laughs> you've had it. A rebel autonomous scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, but the ship finds you and begins its assault. I'm, I don't try to hide, I try to destroy it. Right, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> I don't care about the doors. That is brilliant. I love the weapon pre-igniter. Oh, come on. Ah, the Vulcan is gonna get angry now. It's gonna get angry. Alright, let's get the weapons as well. <laughs> Damn. Weapon pre-igniter. Two uh, lasers like that and the Vulcan. Jeez. Alright. That is quite ridiculous. Lunar Might will have to heal you up as well. So, uh... Yeah, you repair that. It's gonna take you forever to repair. Let's have uh, Walrux help you. Even though these guys are pretty slow at repairing. Well, actually, you know what? Everyone can repair. Even though... If I was playing this myself, I mean alone, and speed wasn't an issue, I'd probably just leave one to repair, because he can level up the skills, the repairing skills. Oh, Lewis needs some healing as well. Okay. I... Th I wanted to say, with the corner of my eye, I saw Lettuce move there, and I wanted to say, what's he doing? Is he working out or something? <laughs> and then I saw he was <laughs> typing on the consoles. Right. So this is the last one before we have to face off the rebels. You intercept discussions between a rebel patrol and a human mining colony. We realize you're scared, but all reports indicate the metal bastards target abandoned settlements only. If we relocated our fleets based on every request from backwater... Wait. What's that? 
Before you can react, the channel is cut and the rebel ship moves into attack. <laughs> too late, bastards, too late. Uh, yeah, let's go for the shields first. Nice. And then we'll go for the weapons as well. Come on. Ah, don't miss like that. Nice. Alright, now we can go for the uh, weapons. Oh, that guy's almost dead. If I fire over there, he should die. Bye. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. No, we will not accept surrender. Look at that. This is ridiculous, that Vulcan. The ship explodes. Uh, eh, not bad. Not bad. Right, now we have the bloody rebels. Let's get some more power so we can power the engines. And I should probably also start upgrading the artillery beam. It's not a bad thing. There we go. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Well, uh, they've got a lot of weapons. Bloody hell. Okay, so let's get the weapons. And let's get the shields first. Ah, uh, damn, they're missing too much. Captain K, and... Henchmen as well. Let's go over there and kill them. Yeah, that's a lot of weapons, which I don't really want them to use. Sorry about that. Come on. We need to get those weapons. Ow! That was not nice. There we go. <laughs> Vulcan, let's go for the weapons. Jeez! Absolutely ridiculous, that thing. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, Captain K, Lewis and Reiko need to get healed. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. You must jump away before the cruisers get into firing range. Alright, let's jump. Next sector. Civilian sector. And we shall continue next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.